my name is Donald Sir Romeo, Premier of Montserrat, and I want to endorse the website to be Caribbean.com. This is Montserrat Culture. We'll be proud of it forever. Greetings, welcome to another edition of Ambassador 5, a program where we highlight five questions with a cultural ambassador who's actively promoting Caribbean culture throughout the world. This evening we have the pleasure of speaking to Premier Donaldson Romeo of Montserrat. Welcome, Premier. Tell us a little bit about what inspired your journey into politics. What prompted this career choice? I don't know how to answer that, but to simply say that I first got involved as an activist fighting for Montserratians who had evacuated from, away from a volcano mm -hmm. and were living in very poor conditions. And I was concerned about it and started to challenge the authorities to improve the conditions. And that led to people gaining confidence in my ability to lead. And as the years went on, in fighting and challenging for challenging the, the conditions that people faced, I found myself gaining knowledge and information that's necessary to argue their case. And it turns out that in the last year, the people rallied about me becoming a leader. It wasn't my intention <laughs> to form a government, to form a party, mm. but they insisted that I did. A party was formed and one thing led to the other, the next thing I was permit. Nice. Mm -hmm. So given your roots in activism, tell us what are your top three priorities and your new role? We lost over three quarters of our population. Mm. The, situation was so, the situation was so depraved when people were evacuated that at a crisis point, Many were enticed into going to Britain to get away from the conditions mm. while the volcano was active. That could have been avoided had we provided housing. Mm. So one of my ambitions is now the volcano is quiet and now there's a, a need for a population to be rebuilt and people want to come back. I want to see the repatriations of Mon repatriation of Montrachians who live in England, over 6,000. Maybe not all want to come back, but at least those who want to come back, especially the young people who want to come back. I want to see them repatriated in an organized way, where land is purchased, housing is provided. But the other thing that bothers me is that after 20 years, there's still hundreds on island waiting to be properly housed. So first, we have to make sure that those in Montreal are properly housed and then have an organized approach to repatriate with Montrachians. Mm. And the third key thing is, to have people come home to sit around is not what we want. We want to have a vibrant economy in which the participants will be those on island and those who return, plus other visitors who've come to join us. Mm. We need to have access addressed. Our main priority is to have ear and sea access adequate enough to make it safe and um, comfortable for our visitors who come to Montreal. Okay. So we need a new port mm -hmm. with a breakwater that's protecting us from the heavy seas and an airport that's adequate enough to have large enough air airlines that are tied to the systems around us. Right, right. Those are three very practical issues. Yes, they are. So you touched on something just now in terms of the young people. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to engage them to carry out those three missions? That is our greatest challenge. Mm -hmm. We lose our young people when they come out of school every year. What we want to have is such a modern economy. What we want to have is such a modern economy mm -hmm. that will attract some to come back and those to stay. That they play a very vital part in. You know, the, the young people are the ones who are the the dons with the electronics and 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 the modern technology. Mm -hmm. And that's the way the world is going. Mm -hmm. So we want to have a modern, green, sophisticated economy with higher paying jobs, and that's going to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. The only way to make that happen is to involve them at an early stage. And that's why I'm out here in the diaspora meeting Monstrations who are going to support me in helping to create that environment for young people by providing scholarships and training on this end uh, with them being able to return. Right, right. So so you have so many Montserratians outside in the diaspora. How do you plan to promote the country amongst them and amongst other Caribbean people or international people? We have festivals at home that they come back to. We have festivals in the US that they are part of. And 
and we, for instance, the mayor of Boston has agreed to train Boston and Montreal. Boston has a lot of Irish people. Montrealians are men of Irish descent. A lot of us have the names of Irish people, so we're going to twin the cities and and you know work together with our festivals and in every way possible promote Montreal through those venues. We want to twin with Ireland. I'm going to be traveling to Canada soon, where Montrealians who will represent us in promoting tourism and investments live in three cities. So three cities in London. Boston, New York, Atlanta, Miami. Once our diaspora, once our diaspora, uh, with the expertise and the capacity on this end, in the market that we want to attract as tourists, mm. are actively involved in supporting our plans. I see no question about increasing our number of visitors okay. over the next few years. Okay, okay. So you've laid out some very practical plans, and you've laid out some very achievable plans in terms of engaging youth, diaspora, etc. So my last question to you is, how do you want people to remember you as a leader when you're 10 years over? One that is brave enough to tackle the serious issues, be frank about them, and mobilize people, our people, to unite with one vision and one ambition to get Montserrat back on his feet and to successfully achieve that in a shorter time than is imaginable. Okay. Well, we wish you luck on that journey. Thank you. And we appreciate all the work you're doing so far. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.